Hi boys and girls, we're going to talk about reducing fractions today. Another name for reducing fractions is simplifying, as you see right here. And we're really just simplifying the fraction to its smallest possible terms, or reducing it to its simplest form. Let's start with an, an easy fraction. We're going to start with 2 fourths. Now, the, the greatest algorithm to do is to find the greatest common factor. So we're going to be looking for the GCF, which equals the greatest common factor. And we all know how to find factors of numbers here. So let's start with Finding the factors for 2. So I'm going to write my little 2 here. I'm going to find the factors for 2. What times what equals 2? Of course, we have 1, and then we have 2. And we always connect these to show that they're best friends. So remember that. And then what are the factors for 4? We always start with 1 and 4, and then we have 2 times 2, but we only write the factor one time. We have 2. So look at the factors of 2 and 4. What is the greatest factor they both have in common? Yeah, it is 2. Great job. So we circle that, and then we know what to divide by. The greatest common factor of 2 and 4 is 2. So we're going to divide by 2 here and divide by 2 here. And we get 1 half. And we know we are done. We know we're finished simplifying because nothing goes into 1 and 2 evenly. The factors of 1 are 1 and 1. The factors of 2 are 1 and 2. The only common factor they have is 1. So we know we don't use 1. And 1 half is our simplest form for 2 fourths. Now, this is the algorithm. We just did the algorithm for finding the simplified form of 2 fourths. Now, let's look at it with bar modeling now. So let's just go ahead and erase what we have here. And let's go ahead and make a bar model for 2 fourths. So if you're if you're with me at home, to go along, come along and, and do this with me. We're gonna make a bar as best as we can, and we're gonna we're gonna put four pieces in it because the denominator is four, two fourths. So we need four pieces all together. We're gonna make them as even as we can. It doesn't have to be completely perfect here. And then we're going to fill in two pieces. One, two. And don't forget to label your bar model. So right here, we have two out of the four pieces all together are colored in. Two fourths. But now we're going to look at this bar model in a different way. We're going to reduce it. We're going to group it in a different way. So I'm going to get a different color here and show you how we group this. Now, how many pieces are colored in? Two. So we're going to group by two. Here's one group. And then here is another group. So now I've changed the grouping of my fraction. I now have two groups. So my denominator is going to be 2. And how many of the groups are colored in? Look right here, 1. So my new fraction is 1 half. 2 fourths reduces down to 1 half. Now, boys and girls, you'll see, I just reduced a fraction using a bar model. I can use my algorithm. I can use my bar model. You have two choices now on how to reduce a fraction. So you choose. Play with both of them. Try both. What one works better for you? You make the decision. Great job, friends.